Hey, how are you feeling about tonight's performance? I'm excited. Um, a little nervous, but I'm good. We're excited to have you. So how long have you been making music? Um, well, I've been writing since I was in high school, but they were terrible. So I would say like college, like freshman year of college is probably when I've been writing music. Nice, and I've heard that you're accompanying yourself tonight. I am doing that. Can you talk <laughs> a little bit about your relationship with the guitar? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I just sort of picked it up um, because my dad let me play with his guitars um, because he had many. Um, and yeah, I just started started like messing around on it, and I said, "This sounds pretty," and then I started putting words to it, and. Um, now I'm more studying jazz guitar, which is much more complicated and not out of my league, pretty much. But it's definitely fun. So. Hey, Mila, can you grab your guitar and we can meet you in here for lighting? Oh yeah. Thank you. Is that one of your dad's guitars right now? Yes, this is the this is one of my dad's. He's pretty, right? That Do doesn't have a name though, unfortunately. But yeah. Nice. Can you talk a little bit about this song in particular that you're performing tonight? Um, yeah, this song, um, I wrote a long time ago, but, um, it's just sort of about, I feel like everyone, everyone sometimes feels these feelings of like, you know somebody, but, um, and you like them, but, you know, you're never, never going to be right for the person that you're not, not right for, does that make any sense? Um, yeah, the idea of someone that you like, but, um, it's not meant for you. Go ahead. Oh, okay, cool. And if you had any advice to new writers right now, people interested in making music, what would you say to them? Um, well, I use it mostly as a form of, of therapy, really. <laughs> so it started at least. And um, then it started turning into something that like anytime I'm feeling down, I, I kind of write and it may not always be the thing that I'm going through. Um, but to do it, it's sort of um, a form of, you know, I write it and then it's out there and then I can move through it. So um, just write, just even if you feel like it's dumb, it's, um, it's yours. So that's, that's special. Yeah. I love that. And why were you decided to come join us tonight with Inside Out? Um, I think this is a special project. I think um, so many people have come on to this and collaborated and I just, I really love being just around space with other different types of artists and um, especially during this time, people just want to create and um, I think this is a, this is a great opportunity to do that, so. Seem to find my face in the mirror With you it's not clear I can't seem to age out of wanting you near mm, However I know that I'm just a stop on the way to loving one I feel it in your kiss, so I really should have run. But I simply fell for the idea of you, made me believe it was true. But I know you're just killing time, boy. Say what's on your mind. Such a pretty life. It's over for you and me, we're just not meant to be But nobody sees that I'm just a stop on the way to loving the one I feel it in your kiss, so I really should run But I 
simply fell for the idea of you made me believe it was true And I know you're just killing time, boy, say what's on your mind Such a pity No, you don't really care for me If you do, would you please let me be And you sing me to sleep with your bittersweet Nothing's testing my patience No, you don't really care for me If you do, would you please let me Cause I simply fell for the idea of you Made me believe it was true Just killing time, boy, say what's on your mind Such a pretty life Such a pretty life Then you sing me to sleep with your bittersweet Nothing's testing my patience No, you don't really care for me I can't seem to find my face in the mirror With you it's not clear I can't seem to age out of one 